Welcome back to my channel. The story for this exercise is that we've asked all of our co-workers who have a LinkedIn profile to record the number of views each day for a week, and we've stored that uh, information in a data frame called li underscore df. Now on line four, we're supposed to select the column named day two from that data frame. So we're creating a variable called second, and we're assigning it as li underscore df. And I think we're supposed to do day two like that, like that's one way to select it. So if I just have it print out second, see if that works. All right, so it looks like that worked. On line seven, they want us to create a variable called extremes. And we're assigning it a logical vector. It wants to know if second, if each value is greater than 25 or if any value in second is less than 5. I'm going to print this out real quick and see what I have right now. Oh, I did this wrong where it says it should say less than 5. All right, so I think once I fix that, then then this will be correct because the first person it was three but the second person it was like 18 so i could tell that was messed up all right now oh so they did this interesting thing for line 10 they say count the number of trues in extremes so i was wondering how you would do that in reading their explanation you use sum because False equals zero. So if you just add every number in there, you're just adding a bunch of ones and zeros. So we say sum of extremes, and I guess that would work because it just evaluates all the falses as zeros and the trues as ones. And it got 16. All right, let's submit this and see. Dang, it's wrong. So, it said our data wasn't right, so I took the quotes out of of day two. Um, I didn't remember there being this 23 here, but then there's the two 18s following it, so I could have just overlooked the 23. But let's see. Still incorrect. All right, well, I'll do the way it suggests. Submit. Okay, it wanted that way. I thought that there were multiple ways to do it. Continue. So they start out by telling us that they want us to print this statement showing LinkedIn information if a variable called medium is equal to the value LinkedIn. So medium is which social media site we're looking at and the number of views is the number of views on the day that we're looking at for that for that medium. But on line six through eight, they already made the if statement for us. And so it turns out there is a print statement in R. Alright, so now they want us to make a new if statement for num views if it's greater than fifteen, then we should print you are popular. All right, run. Okay, we just wrote if statements. Wait. Oh, it never prints this out because it's only 14, not 15. And so, okay, that's it. It doesn't do anything at all. Submit. But you can see up here where it says showing LinkedIn information because that if statement evaluated the true. For this exercise, they kept our two uh, variables 
num views and medium, and they kept our two if statements that we had in the, the previous exercise. Now they want us to add else statements. So on line eight, we're supposed to put an else for unknown medium. And on line 17, we are supposed to put an else that says try to be more visible. So run this. We still have our showing LinkedIn information. And now we have try to be more visible. So now that second if statement actually does something. Oh, I forgot to put print, which means I also didn't put it here. Okay, submit. Nope. I spelled unknown wrong. Yeah, run. Good. All right, continue. So now they want us to use else if statements. So I'm going to close the curly brace from, wait a second, they already have the else if statement there. Okay, so they have the else, else if medium equals Facebook on line 8. And we're supposed to put the print statement showing Facebook information. Now we go to line 20. They, again, already have the else if statement on line 18. And they want us to print your number of views is average. Let's run this. So we got LinkedIn still. This medium variable hasn't changed value. And your number of views is average, because we're at 14. Submit. Okay, yeah, I didn't even realize that they had done this. But they specified that the number of views had to be less than or equal to 15, which it would be anyway, because they have their if statement up at the top. Anyway, continue. In this exercise, they talk about how you can have nested if statements so that this else goes with that if, but this else if and else goes with the first if. And they want us to look at these statements and determine what's true. Statement one says if number is set to six, small gets printed to the console. So if number is 6, uh, 6 is less than 10, so that would be true, so it'll move to this nested if statement. 6 is not less than 5, so we'll move to this else, which result is small. So that is true. Statement 2, if number is set to 100, R prints out medium. 100 is not less than 10. 100 is not less than 100, so we move to the else, where it prints out large, which means statement 2 is false. Statement 3, if number is set to 4, extra small gets printed out to the console. So 4 is less than 10, 4 is less than 5, so it will be extra small, so that is true. And last, if number is set to 2500, R will generate an error as result will not be defined. 2500. So we're going to pass this if statement. We're going to pass the else if. And we're going to go to the else where result will be large. So that means 4 is false. So the true ones are 1 and 3. So here's 1 and 3. We'll submit. Wonderful, you got it right. So, um, well, next. Okay, so this is the last one. In this exercise, we're putting this all together, and we're finishing the control structure, and then we need to print this um, SMS variable out. So I'll try that. Now, the first step 
if both LinkedIn and Facebook are 15 or greater, SMS is double the sum of LinkedIn and Facebook. So they have two times LinkedIn plus Facebook. So all we have to do is write the comparison statements. So LinkedIn greater than or equal to 15. Facebook greater than or equal to 15. The next step, if both LinkedIn and Facebook are strictly below 10, set SMS equal to half the number of LinkedIn and Facebook. All right, so they again set um, SMS where they wanted it. Oh, okay, so this, uh, the parentheses is the inside the if statement. What goes here is the else if. And so in the parentheses, is our comparisons. So if LinkedIn is less than 10 and Facebook is less than 10. So for all other cases, we're just adding LinkedIn and Facebook. Let's see if that works. And what we get is 24 so that uh, I don't have any idea. Let's submit. Continue. Okay, so that was the end of the amount of what I can do on the Intermediate R course. So next time I hope to start the data manipulation with DPLYR. Thank you for watching and have fun on any projects you're working on.